This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Mark Sangin from Techno Buffalo, and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the latest developer preview for Android M. We've been playing with a new developer preview since last week, so let's go ahead and see what's new. One, the new app drawer is no longer broken up by letters, which was introduced in the previous developer preview. However, it's still in a vertical list, and it now has a fast scroll bar to quickly navigate through your apps. The widget picker also received the same treatment and now features the same fast scroll bar as the app drawer. The other big change to Google's own launcher is inside the launcher settings. You now have an option to rotate your launcher to use your phone in landscape mode, which some Nexus 6 users may find very useful. In the second developer preview for Android M, we found that you can now enable or disable icons in a status bar by heading over to this system UI tuner. For example, if the only thing you want on your status bar is your battery, clock, and alarm, you'll be able to choose just those icons. Who would have ever thought that this feature would finally come to barebone stock Android? Another addition to the second developer preview is the ability to display your battery's remaining percentage inside the battery bar. It's very, very handy and something that I truly love. One thing we immediately noticed inside the settings app is that the dark mode which we first showed you in the first developer preview is now gone. That was actually one thing that got me excited in the first developer preview, but hopefully it's not gone forever. This is just a second developer preview, so let's see if that option will make a comeback. Moving on, the dedicated memory section of the settings menu has been given a notable redesign in version 2. The biggest change here is a new overview screen that now shows the total memory in either megabytes or gigabytes, instead of breaking it down to specific apps. The individual app view is still present in this version and it's been tweaked as well, showing full readouts in megabytes so you'll know which app is eating most of your RAM. In previous versions of Android, when taking a screenshot, you were only able to share that image and nothing more. In this version of Android M, however, you now have the option to delete that screenshot right away, which can be very handy in my opinion. Let me stop the video real fast and thank our friends over at Domain.com. It's the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's a one-stop shopping for all your domain names and web hosting email needs. Domain wants to hook our fans up with a pretty cool offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting if you use the coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. It's all one word in caps at Domain.com's checkout. And that's about it. If there's anything new in future developer previews for Android M, we'll be sure to keep you guys in a loop over at technobuffalo.com. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one. Also, thank you guys for 1 million subscribers. You guys are awesome.